I try to keep it really fun because you're already under enough stress. And a lot of times parents are forcing their teens to take driver's ed because they're just not mature enough and just not ready. So I've had a lot of conversations with parents, with teens, 19, 18, 17. And then I've talked to parents of students who are 20, 24, 25, 26, and their needs are different than that 17 to 19 year old where mom and dad are really tired of taking them out and they need to start standing on their own two feet. They're working a part-time job and then mom and dad have to rush to get them to work, have to rush to get home, and that's pressure. You don't see it a lot when your parent, but your parents get older and they get really tired and they will do it for you, won't complain, but really, you need to start doing this for yourself. And I'm trying to teach independence, and I realized that the second year I started teaching driver's ed, I had a parent meeting, and parents gave me a list of expectations. You know, we need you to get our son or daughter ready to drive. We have a car for them, but they don't want to drive. We need you to get them ready to drive. They have to get a job. I want to retire in three years. We need you to get them ready because they have four of their siblings. So when these situations come, I didn't know what to say. I just listened to the parents and I wrote down all these things and I'll be sharing the list of things that they talked about on a later video, but I'm trying to get these young adults ready. And each year you wait to get your license, it puts more complexity and stress on your parent. Your parents would do anything for you, but at a certain window of time, usually right after college, 18, 19, you start working in your career. I know it's a little bit different today. There's social media out there, there's crypto, there's real estate, but you have to travel to these locations if you're real estate. You gotta be able to drive. You're gonna be going in areas of Houston, Texas that are not real good. You're gonna be going areas of Detroit that are not real good. You're going to be in areas of Los Angeles, Long Beach, that are not really good. And if you don't know how to drive, how to read a map, how to read streets, you're going to end up in an area that is not real comfortable. We were driving in Houston, Texas with a client, and she got books. 